Uh, it's part one on creating a module for Press Shop 1.4 from scratch. Um, I discontinued the series before because 1.4 had only just come out and seemed kind of pointless when it might be a bit outdated. So um, I'm going to complete this series fully and with the kind of new standards of video recording I've got. So um, let's begin, I guess. Um, if you click on the modules tab in your back office on 1.5, you can see I've got it set up on a folder called Press Shop Future. Um, I'm using MAMP, which is my low cost AA88 thing. Um, and I've, I've called it that because I'm, I'm still using 1.3 for a lot of stuff. So, just if that causes any confusion. Um, I hope you understand why I've named it like that. So I'm in my admin and you can see um, there's a lot of modules in back office in this new style of um, tabbing. And we want to create a new module so um, you don't have to necessarily follow what I'm doing fully in the exact location because you you can create all the files and use this adder module to put it in the correct place but I'd suggest just coding it in the modules place anyway instead of um, using this as kind of an installation method if you're hosting it somewhere so htdocs just go into my press shop folder go in modules and you can see all the modules are in here and the first thing you need to to make a module you just simply create a folder with whatever you want to call your module um, all, all alphanumeric characters um, I'd suggest just mainly letters all lowercase, no spaces so I'm creating a PDF customizer so just call it PDF customizer And one second. Just go inside this folder, and by default, you need there's a few files you need just to make a blank module, so to say. Um, and these files. Uh, the it, the logo image, which if we go back to the admin back end, is this little icon you see in the back office. Um, the main PHP file, which is basically the core of your um, module. So this is where all the code goes, or any links to any code, or just anything that runs. Um, a configuration file which basically just has some information explained in the module and the language files which is basically PHP files but the um, the state translations if you have any for um, let's say you configure in a module let's use one as an example so let's say one that has a configuration option somewhere. So, let's say in these language files we wanted to support, let's say, um, French. If somebody was viewing the back office and their language was selected as French, this would display the French equivalent of this word, words as well as that so it's a good reason if you're um, creating a module for various languages if you're a very global company so in total sorry that's something else I'll just close that ignore that <laughs> in total you need I think it's four files 
So, just go back to Smalltron, which is my text are there. Um, your first file is the main coding file, the core of your module, which is the exact same name as the folder. So, scroll down to modules folder and where is it? there just name it exactly as you name the folder so pdf customizer dot php save and just create another file and save it in the exact same folder can be a bit annoying but you might want to skip ahead with me trying to locate the exact same folder all these times but so let's say this is the configuration file which is config.xml then save another as the language file which will be our default language and just use ISO code so en.php um, and that just leaves the icon which you can just use I'm just going to use paintbrush which is like the paint equivalent of on the Mac, so I always save stuff as PNG, which is logo dot PNG. The format doesn't particularly matter because you can um, you specify the format in the actual core PHP file. So we have to save it in there first and then just transfer it over so ignore that file because that's um, that's just an invisible file on the operating system which you got to set in that shows it up for some reason so it's just these four files 